Today in the woodyard, we're going on a humanitarian run. Here we go. Yesterday, when I finished, I had cut all these rounds out from the piles that were back here, so I finished that, and my plan was today was I was gonna split this pile, but plans have changed. I'm going to visit my mom and dad. My mom is going through uh, cancer treatment for the third time. She's not doing too good, so I'm gonna go spend some time with them, and I'm gonna be helping my dad out because my dad has got a bad arm, and he can't really lift his wood that he's got anymore. He's got uh, pretty big rounds. I'll show you when I get there. He always cut his wood huge because he's got a, a wood stove in his basement. I'll show you that when I get there. And he always was able to fill it no problem, but now he's got a really bad arm and he can't lift with one arm at all. And so he's got to do everything one-handed. So I told him, I said, I've got tons of wood that's small you can pick up with one hand and throw into the wood stove. And so I've got all this locust here. So I'm going to take him a bunch of locusts so that it's easy for him to fill the wood stove because my mom really likes the wood heat a lot and uh, doesn't like the gas heat at all. Number one, because they like to save money. Number two, because it's just better heat and it's warmer. She really likes it. So I'm going to load up a pickup load full of uh, this locust here. I'm going to take it, get it to them so that my dad can fill the wood stove easier. Even though we're towards the end of winter here now, they'll still have fires because my mom likes it warm in the house because she's been losing a lot of weight. So I'm going to go do that today. And when we get there, I'll show you his big, nasty wood, his wood shed. We're going to unload this. Uh, when I get there and then I'll show you the wood stove and that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to get loading this right now. So I'm just going to throw in like a face quarter so I'm not going to measure it obviously. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to be giving it to them but we're going to fill it up and then we're going to go for a ride. They live about an hour and a half away from me here and uh, they've got a great big huge old Victorian house that is uh, I think it's like a hundred and 15, 120 years old, something like that. It's insulated really good, but uh, they do heat with wood, so it burns plenty of wood. And uh, this locust I have here is excellent for heating, so that's what I'm gonna take them. And uh, that way my dad can keep the stove going because these are easy to pick up with one hand. Because the pieces he's got are all like, you know, 20, 22 inches, and they're, they're big, you know, they're, <laughs> You'll see. They're big chunks. And he's got a lot of nasty wood right now that he's been burning. And he has a real hard time just getting them in the wood stove. So I'm going to uh, take him some stuff that's easier for him to handle. He's just too proud to admit that uh, he's having a hard time with it. Because he's always, he's always done everything himself. And uh, he's always been able to pretty much um, do anything. And now he can't. He needs some help, so I'm gonna go do the the thing that uh, matters most. So there it is, it's in. I'm gonna go for a little road trip. They live about an hour and a half away, so I'm gonna go there and fill the woodshed and make mom warm. Well, I am at my mom and dad's. This is their house. I came to the front so you could see it's just a big old Victorian monster. And uh, they had it re-roofed, re-insulated, and all weatherized so that it, it uh, doesn't burn as much. They don't use as much wood in their wood stove as they did originally when they first moved here. but. We moved here when I was just a little kid, and uh, this is where I grew up. And uh, my dad's got like 60 some acres, and the river is right there. He lives on, right on the river, and then he's got his own lake in back too. But so they got woods all the way around. And uh, so I backed up into his shed, and I'm gonna unload a load of wood for him here because his stock was getting down there. And because he's only got one good arm, he can't, he can't really lift it very well. See, so he's got a lot of big stuff like this here, as you can see. Like this is like to him, this is a small chunk, which I can lift with one hand, but he's got a lot of stuff like, like this here. 
I mean, I can barely lift it. It's got to be, I don't know, 24 inches. And then, like, here's a small one for him. And he's got a lot of chunks like this, stuff like this that does, uh, you know, it's only split just a piece off of it off each side. But I'm, I would bet this chunk right here probably weighs 35, 40 pounds. I can't lift it with one hand, so I don't know how he does. So here's the wood I brought. And I'm just going to stack it right over here in the corner. So he's got some wood that he can actually lift with one hand and carry downstairs and put it in the stove with one hand because that's all he's got to use now because he's got the, the bad arm. So I brought him locusts, like I said before. So there it is. So we're going to do some stacking right now. See, that's kind of the end of winter, but they like the wood heat. So that's what we're going to keep going. They're going to keep, keep the house warm. My mom likes it like in the upper 70s because she can't move around much and... Like I said, she's lost a lot of weight, and uh, so she's cold a lot, so we're going to heat her up. So this locust will be just excellent stuff. And he can handle it a lot easier. And I'm going to take some downstairs for him into the basement. I'll show you that in just a little bit. These chunks are all much, much smaller than his big monster pieces that he always has. So we're gonna unload it. You think you're gonna get petted again? Is that what you think? What do you got to say? Can you say something? <laughs> That's my younger brother. For those of you that uh, wanna know what the heck the dog is, we call him the favorite child, and he's my dad's favorite. He makes an egg for him every morning, my dad does. And uh, when I was a kid, I, my dad never made an egg for me. But for the dog, he gets an egg every morning. But he's a good boy, aren't you, Smokey? So anyway, he came out to talk to me, so here is the wood in the shed. We got it all stacked, and my dad said this is awesome because uh, he can pick it up and with one hand and fill the stove, and he also thinks he might be allergic to the oak dust because he takes it down. He said he gets a runny nose and everything, and but his wood is like these big chunks like I showed this one right here, pieces like this. I mean, that's the kind of wood that he's trying to lift in with one arm. And sure, they're good for all night burns, you know, those big chunks like this one here. Those are great. Um, but if you can't get them in the stove because your arm's not any good, it doesn't do you a whole lot of good. So now I'm going to go down into the stove and I'll show you his wood stove that he's got where he burns his wood here. So here we go. Bought this stove 40 years ago. It, our house is four bedrooms, 3,000 feet. It's a Victorian house, three stories high. And I only paid 250 bucks for this stove 40 years ago. What kind is it, it? It was a, it was a Etrick. Etrick, Etrick, Wisconsin. Yeah. And they were kind of, had a big name because they're the first with the seat exchange, uh, heat exchangers. There's two pipes that big on top, up on top. Then we get hot and the air blows through them, heats the whole house. Cheap. That, it's a warm day, they just got a small fire going around, but it's like a blast furnace you fill her up. Oh. Ash tray here. That's your ash tray. Yeah. If you're burning uh, ash wood, it fills up in three days. Oak a little less, but ash I think was named after ashes. Yeah. Yeah. Another one, elm is just just like a lot of ashes. Yeah. I'm showing your customization on the back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was always replacing fans here, and a fan would cost, there's a hole back here, 250 bucks, and a fan would burn up in about four or five years. So I quit buying them, 
and I took a metal clipper, so I, I cut this hole here. <laughs> now I just put a window fan right there. Turn it on, and put your filter right here. And a suction hole that. That's pretty fancy. In a, in a window fan, you would pick up practically nothing. It's 20 bucks, in maybe the last 30. couple years, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That big fan you gave me, yeah. I got five years out of that, that thing. That fan was 30 years old. Yeah. So it got used a lot. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, that's pretty fancy you got there. It Not saved a lot of money. Yeah. Yes. Save your money, that's what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it heats the whole house. But yeah, it's a, been down here ever since I can remember. You hey, got, you know what you that got is? Some, that's that, holes in the floor. Do you know how that happened? Yeah, we had a party tell, here. Tell everybody. Your brother <laughs> and his friend come down here. They're drunk, splitting <laughs> no. wood, with a mall down here, and that's what I got out of two drunks down here. <laughs> that would be for those who've been watching the channel. The brother Ken, the, the maniac. That would have been him. That was me. Kenny. Yeah. So now you're going to burn till when? About another month? Maybe a couple of weeks. Middle of March, I'll quit. Yeah. And yeah. then you just depend on the... That, that just kicks right in, yeah. yeah. I bought this in uh, 85. It's like brand new yet. I had a furnace man. Well, 85 to now, how, much, how many years is that? 20, 35 years. Yeah. The furnace man come and he says, it's like brand new yet. Don't you use it? I said, yeah, once in a while when I'm not burning wood. Yeah. I said, that costs money. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the story in my heat. So there you go. That's the stove. I try to walk this three to five times a day. If I go to Georgia's back, it's a mile and a quarter. How many miles a day? I try to get five in. Three is three is a must, but usually it's four or four miles. But there's days I can I can get five to I had her up to six miles, but then on five and four, I try to average five. They say to stay in shape though, you need 10,000 steps a day. Yeah. Would that be 10 miles? No. No, no, it won't be. Yeah. 10,000 steps. Yeah, that'd be like seven uh, miles. You do three feet per step, that'd be 30,000 feet, and there's 5,280 feet in a mile, so that'd be about six miles. That means you don't do anything the rest of the day. You sit in a chair. Yeah, <laughs> that's the bad thing about it. Actually, a half a mile is 880 yards, and a mile is 1760 yards. Yeah, I'm just going by the feet. You're going by feet, though. Well, you're happy to be outside. Yeah. This is the only way to raise a dog. <laughs> He's never hyper. Never fat. Well, it's because he's outside all day every day. Yeah. He should be. Want a half a banana? Nope. I don't need to eat every five minutes. I do. I'm old. I think the cold, cold weather for the year is pretty much done now. That uh, 10, 20 below crap got to be done now that you're getting into March. Ever since I was a kid, when my birthday come, that was pretty much the end of winter. My birthday is February 27th. Yeah. 
and after it's all downhill. Oh, oh Christ. Well, he eat a banana? He eats them? He likes the skin, too. So. No, I okay. not Yeah. That's a weird animal. That's a white pine. Keep that baby. There's a white spruce. Keep him, too. Now, <laughs> here, scotch pine. Cut every one off. They're bad firwood. They get about that big and they tip over. Uh, about 1970. They started planting trees. Yep, but it's pretty small time though, and they just had sheep too, plus other brakemen in the mills. Now this patch right here is only about four years old. There's just a half acre here. There's 500 trees in there, and they'll sell for 40, 50 bucks a piece. So basically, a half acre can make you twenty thousand dollars, twenty-five thousand dollars. You planted them to save money on taxes, right? You got four yeah. crop. Yeah. get the, if you got half of your land in taxes, you got a hell of a break. And uh, there's half. Yeah, these are wild ones we dug out. You helped, remember? Yeah, I remember digging them. You helped me. You helped me plant them. them. About four years ago. Well, the first year is kind of they don't do nothing, so they only got three years of growth on them. Right. But like I said, 500 trees, half acre. There's a new truck, 25,000. Well, my days, a new truck, 25. And I got uh, fifth, about 20 acres over there in Christmas trees. So how many trees have you sold all together since you retired? Well, I'd have to add them, add them up. I started out selling 100 a year, then 200 a year, and I got up to 800 years. That was my biggest year. Then I stayed about six or 700 every year for about 10, 15 years. Now it's going way down again. Here's my big pond. That's uh, seven acres. Here's a one acre pond full of bluegills and bass. wants a fish beep this baby here. Do you mean everybody around here wants it? Yep. Yep. And I tell them I can't fish it myself. It's for my grandkids. I've never fished in it. You haven't? Nope. I'll be damned. Never allowed. <laughs> never allowed. So how'd that tamarack get here? How'd that get here? I don't know, just wind blew a seed over there. There's a dim two spruce there. Yeah. I planted them like that yeah. about seven, eight years ago. Yeah. They shouldn't be that tall. They're only that tall because I'm not clipping them off. See all the tops along the tops there? Yeah. They're never pruned. This is the easiest way to make wood here. You cut it down right here. You can only do this if you own the land. And you pile it right there, no hole in it. Cover it up and don't haul it until it's dried. No labor, look at the labor. Otherwise you haul it in a stack and then you're hauling it all, this way you haul it right to the, or selling it too. If you can leave it. How much things are right there? How much, you got two rows? Yeah. I don't know. Step, step, it, step it off. Between 10 and 12. Basically. Yeah, I figured about 11, 12 cords, about the same. 
Yeah, it's, it's higher than four foot high, so you got to yeah. allow that little bit of rib on top. What I like about you, it's split nice and fine. The one guy, one nice armed man, fine. could use. Yeah, this is this is nice. This is the size yeah. stuff. that's nice. But yeah. these these red oaks are dying too. What's nice, but there's enough white oaks sprinkled here and there, it'd be okay. Yeah. Well, there's a maple right there. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few other trees. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm just spending time with my dad today. It was pretty nice just being outside and walking around and listening to him talk and show me his favorite spot on the planet. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Good night, Irene.